This video demonstrates reviewing data entered in the smart carrier station using the F3 key, loading a cassette that's ready to be tested onto the Vitec 2 instrument, acknowledging instrument alarms due to a mismatched cassette, and troubleshooting discrepancies for a mismatched cassette at the smart carrier station. Once all inocula and cards are prepared, the F3 function key on the smart carrier station can be used to display a summary of the information recorded on the button memory module. It is good practice to verify your work prior to loading cards on the instrument. Remove the cassette from the smart carrier station. A steady green light indicates a cassette can be loaded. Load the cassette into the Vitec 2 instrument within 30 minutes of preparing the first inoculum. It is very important that suspensions do not sit for more than 30 minutes prior to card inoculation. The instrument reads the card barcodes. Then, the button memory module is read. If the card barcode and button memory module information agree, the instrument will make a sound referred to as the happy sound, indicating that the scanned information matches information on the button memory module. If the information does not agree, the cassette is moved back to the load unload station and an alarm sounds. Press the help button on the Vitec 2 instrument user interface to acknowledge and read the instrument messages. Note the slot or slots where information is inconsistent with that on the button memory module. Returning the cassette to the smart carrier station may be helpful in determining the discrepancy. A green blinking light below the load unload door indicates it is okay to remove the cassette from the instrument. At the data entry screen of the smart carrier station, locate the slot with the error and determine which information did not agree and make the necessary corrections. Once all issues are resolved, place the cassette back on the instrument. 